reality is, as, as pastors and as spiritual leaders, we have the responsibility of, as best we can, from a human perspective, creating an environment where parents can know that their children are safe at, in the children's department and their, their teens are safe in the teen department and, and adults are safe when they come together to worship and to fellowship. And so uh, I think we have a moral responsibility and we have a tremendous opportunity to help create a safe environment where God's people can gather and, and do what Christians do. Hey, my wife, uh, she just texted me and said that she needed me to pick up Sydney, and so... Hi, Sue. Oh, hi, Carrie. Hi, I'm here to pick Sydney up. Well, well, your husband picked her up. He said you got you texted him and had an emergency. What? He's not supposed to have her. I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't know that. A child taken by someone who should not be with her, in a way that seems completely normal, in a church. What if it were your church? or your child? What if you were that volunteer? This kind of scenario is only one in the full spectrum of safety and security concerns our ministries face today. Medical emergencies, theft, disruptive persons, and even violent incidents are all situations today's churches need to plan and prepare for. Communities and congregations expect their places of worship to be sanctuaries in the midst of a busy and sometimes unpredictable world and churches have a special responsibility to protect their children, their worship experience, and their ministries. The best way to do that is to prepare. Developing and implementing a church safety and security program may seem like a daunting task and even a little intimidating, but it's really just a series of manageable steps that build on resources you may already have in your church. So let's get started. 